Hi yogis, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Bree and I'm Flo and in this video I will guide you through a quick 10 minute core workout. Let's begin. Okay, we're gonna begin on our back. Legs are bent, come onto your back. Lift the knees up, lift the feet up. Bring the knees together and then bring both knees over to the right side. All the way down. It's okay if the left shoulder lifts up. Just a gentle twist here. Extend your left arm away from your body. And then use your right hand, guide your knees back through center over to the left side. Extend your right arm away from you. Again, doesn't matter if the left knees on the ground or if the right shoulders on the mat. Connect to your breath a little bit more. Then use your left hand, guide your knees back to center. Keep the shins lifted parallel to the ground. Flex your feet. Bring the arms out to the side. Palms facing down. And then again, same thing, bring the knees together and over to the right side. This time, let them hover. So keep the left shoulder pinned down to the ground. Through center of the knees, over to the left. Keep the right shoulder pinned down, through center, to the right. To the left. Three more each side. Try to make this really nice and slow, controlled with your breath. One more each side. Back to center. From, from here we're coming into both poses. So we're gonna, actually not yet, you're gonna lift the shoulder blades up off the ground. Extend your legs up to the sky. Really lift the shoulder blades up, extend the fingers to the front. So you almost curl into a little ball here with your upper body. Lift your upper body up. Look up to your feet and then reach with your fingers up to the feet. And back down, keep the shoulder blades lifted. Lift up and down. So six more. Four. Three. Two. One. Back down, bend your legs, both pose. Now we're going to rock up, shins parallel to the ground, flex your feet, extend the fingers to the front, extend your arms, lengthen out through the spine, bring the chest a little bit more forward, the shoulders back, we're going to hold this here. Feel free at any time to pause the video or set the knees down, set the feet down, take a break and then join us whenever you're ready again. From here we're going to bring the palms together. For a few rounds of Russian twists, bring the arms to the side, the hands almost touching the ground, the arms back through center to the left. Keep the shins lifted, keep the knees lifted, to the left, nice and slow with your breath. Keep lengthening out through the spine. Let's do five more each side. Four, three, two, and one. Back to center, clean it up, lengthen out through the spine, slowly lower to half bow, extend the feet to the front. Keep your, sh keep your heels lifted, the legs are straight, and lift your upper body up as well. Really extend forward through your fingertips. Again, feel free to set everything down, take a break. Try to hold this here. Shaking is okay, it's normal. It just means you're getting stronger and you're working hard and you're challenging your body. From here, we're gonna shift over to the right side. 
And we're going to keep this hollow body shape where the front side is entirely engaged. Over to the left, to the right, and to the left. Let's do two more on your own. Just like a little butt massage here for yourself. One more each side. Back to center. Try to hold it here. Maybe arms over your head. And start to paddle your legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Back up to boat. Lower back down. Half boat. Last four. Up to boat. Slowly lower. Three. Last two. Last one. We're going to meet in boat pose. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, across your ankles. Roll over your knees. You're going to come into tabletop position. A few rounds of cat cow to stretch out the, the abs. On an inhale, arch your back. Look to the front. Mm, exhale, round your back. Look towards your belly button. Two more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Back to neutral. Plank pose. Straighten both legs. Press the ground away. Will you press up from the center of the back? Push the ground away as much as you can to create as much space between the chest and the mat as possible. And then bring the feet wider apart than normally, more than hip width. And then keep everything in your upper body and your hips, but rotate the heels to your left. Dip the left hip down towards the ground, let it hover. Bring it back through center to the right. Heels to the right, bring the right hip close to the mat. Through center, keep pushing the ground away to the left. And to the right, a little bit faster. Three more. Two more. With your breath, keep breathing. Last one. Back to center. From here, coming into a forearm plank. So bend your arms, bring the forearms down to the ground. Make sure the shoulders are right above the elbows. Lift your hips up a little bit higher so they are almost on the same height or higher than the shoulders. Stay on the ball of your feet. And without actually moving anything, drag your elbows closer to your toes to fire up the entire front side of your body. We're going to stay here for two minutes. Keep breathing. going to have a clock here. going to watch it. Again, at any time, feel free to set the knees down, take a break, join us. It's better to take a quick break and then join us again, then just stop and then, you know, just watch us working here. One and a half minutes to go. Keep pushing the elbows into the ground. And what really makes us stronger is not so much the, the reps, it's more about those isometric holds where we have to hold a position or a pose for a longer time. That's, that's really what makes us, makes us strong. And the strength of the body is really all coming from the center of the body. Halfway through, just one more, limit, one more minute left. I, just, I say just to downplay how hard this is. But really all the strength is coming from the center of the body. So it's so important to work on the core, on your abs, so that you can support your body in a really good way. 30 more seconds. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Last little bit. Keep breathing. Take one more last deep breath in. On an exhale, release the hips down to the ground. 
beautiful job. Things pose, keep the elbows underneath the, um, the shoulders, engage your glutes, move your chest forward, pull the shoulders back, keep breathing. Maybe close your eyes, slow your breath down, and just notice how, the, how you slow down the heart rate as well. If you want a little bit more, then you can straighten your arms for seal pose, but then flex your butt even more, or stay in things, whatever variation works best for your body today. over time this workout will become easier and easier then maybe you want to do several rounds of these maybe you know two rounds three come onto your toes lift up sit onto your heels beautiful job Thank you so much. Namaste.